Hey guys, wanted to apologize about my last video. Thursday wasn't a good day. Technically it's Wednesday at 12.30 a.m. But I'm still considering it. The reason I'm still up is because, well, um, work got home about 30 minutes ago. So it was closed at 11 tonight. But, uh, yeah. I know I should do that shower thing, but I was like going in there. I was like, wait, I don't want to clean up shabby. Might as well upload a video. Well, I'm in a better mood as you can tell. Yay. Been writing a lot, getting a lot of shit out, so. Yeah, on the road too. But I've been thinking a lot about senior trip because me, Christian, and Cece were planning on taking a road trip. And, uh, I'm, I'm ready to do it. Like, I'm ready to escape this town and go see other people and meet new people who aren't from here and really crazy. Okay, I'm just throwing this out there, but I believe that creepy people should wear a sign saying, hey, look, I'm creepy, and then, like, the degree of creepiness in which they possess. I mean, it warn us all, but uh, I've been talking to Aiden. Aiden is a, is a friend of mine. Now, we, we weren't always good friends, but he's in rehab. Uh, he lives in London, along with River Rory, his twin... Hayden and my best buddy, Newt. But uh, yeah, he used to be a really big heroin addict when we met. This is his third or fourth stint in rehab. He's been there for cocaine, and this is the second time. So I think it's the fourth time he's been in rehab. This is the second time for heroin, and uh, his release date is May the tenth. And um, yeah, he was talking about coming down here for graduation, but. I'm supposed to be going over there for about two weeks. So we're going to London. I don't think you realize you guys realize how awesome that would be for me. But um, like we write each other and everything, and he sent me a CD which had a couple of songs on it, and he also sent me the lyrics to a bunch of songs. And one of the ones he wrote for me, he wrote about let's say eight months ago. And yeah, you guys aren't going to hear me sing it, but I'm going to read the lyrics. Because I got them all typed up, aren't you proud? I'm not going to lie to you, girl. At first sight, at first sight, I couldn't stand you. I thought you were a little too smart and a little too cute and a little too quiet to be safe. Your eyes couldn't stay focused, and I don't think it was from your dream. But hey, no hard feelings. I don't think you liked me either. I've been in this room all by myself. See, there was a misunderstanding of sorts. And all I've been able to do is think and just think of how all this started. A couple years back, I thought I fell in hate. I wonder what was between your legs. I could taste you like cigarettes and half bottles of Jack. The nights were colder and the days were longer. Everything was a blur, but you were always picture perfect. I've been in this room all by myself. See, there was a misunderstanding of sorts. And I've been, and all I've been able to do is think and just think about how all this started. You grew on me ca like cancer. <clears throat> Oh God, do I need treatment. You've infected me with your poetry and a voice that talks to me in my sleep. The days were colder, the nights were long. The nights were colder, the days were longer. Everything was a blur, but you were always such a perfect. Did I make you cry that night? Did I make you feel like flying? Did I make you cry that night? Did I make you feel like flying? I've been thinking, girl, it's been a couple of years. What do you say? Just me and you. We get a room. I don't want to be alone tonight. Let's get reacquainted. I swear I've changed. I'll make you fall in love with me. I know I can make you fall in love with me. I've been in this room all by myself. See, there was a misunderstanding of sorts. The Neo was cold, but your voice was warm. I couldn't keep focused, and I got the two confused. I've been thinking to myself, a lot of thinking to myself. I want to start over, start fresh. Everything was a blur, but I can finally see clearly, and you're even more beautiful than before. Yeah. The song was written for me, and the name of the song is Junkie Kid, which is, for some reason, he calls me out. One of the first songs anyone wrote for me really, like, hit home, because I was really awkward at the time. My friend Noodles wrote it, and I also got these lyrics typed up, which you're also going to hear, because I uh, really don't have anyone else to share it with. And upload it to YouTube. Like I just said, she swears she's not crying. That it's only the rain, but there's not a cloud in the sky. 
I was full of hope and lips full of questions. Never did I see something so bright. She asked why the angels are sad and if the devils will ever find love. The prettiest thing I ever did see, but her head is stuck in the cloud in the clouds above. I saw her on the shoreline that night, tears in her eyes, so silent, so silent, she cried. I asked her what was on her mind. She told me, yeah, she told me. Everything beautiful, it will only die. There was never a lie to her beautiful words, just a meliotic, macabre truth. Her voice would always carry its own special tune above the wind and towards the moon. I wanted to answer her questions, but some things I don't even know. I know that that summer, that night on the shore, when I carried her home to rest her bright eyes, that I fell in love, yeah, I fell in love with a girl. A girl that had her, had her head stuck in the skyline and her feet on the ground. And, uh, yeah, that was written by Noodles. So, if you guys like either of the lyrics, just, uh, let me know. Because, uh, I'm pretty sure they would like to, uh, know that someone enjoyed their song. But, um, uh, yeah, they, those guys really mean a lot to me. And I haven't, <coughs> I saw neuter, Noodles, not last summer, but the summer before that. But, uh, the rest of them I haven't seen them going on, like, the summer we met. And, uh, we've all grown and changed. And then, like, the all clean, like, I'm clean. It's amazing how all that happens. So, uh, but I'm sharing that guy that stuff with you, and now I'm gonna go and do that shower thing because I smell like fries and fries. Oh, really funny thing happened though. Um, any guy, anyone who's working fast food, you know what I'm talking about. Those who haven't, ask someone who has. I mean, you know someone. Unless you're like 12, which you shouldn't be on the internet anyway. But um. We had like all the grease traps and everything and we had to empty it for like the fries area where we put the fries and the anything that's fried. And um our manager Samantha was doing it. She opened it up first and it like the bucket wasn't under like the whole scope for drain out, so it went all over the place first of all. And uh you need to get another bucket full of ice so you can pour it into it. And uh she was doing that and we see water coming out of the bucket she's pouring grease into. And we're like, Samantha, did you get the uh, bucket with a hole in it? It's like, what? It had a hole in it? So she lifts it up and the bottom falls through. So we had grease everywhere in the kitchen. It was amazing. Like, I got like eight pictures of it on my phone. It was just, we couldn't stop laughing. It was the funniest thing. God. Like, I've done some stupid shit at work. Like, uh, we had SOR, which is like a bi-annual thingy, where our huge guys come in from the corporation and they check everything and make sure everything's clean. So we're, like, cleaning for, like, a week straight. Like, scrubbing shit we forget about. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just... And we had high low the floor, meaning we had to scrub it and mop it up and squeegee it and scrub it again. But, um, I was carrying a full urn of sweet tea over Nisha's freshly high low lobby. And I was around my converse. And I slipped. And the tea goes everywhere. But nothing beat. Okay, okay. One time Nisha rang up a six piece nugget without pickles, but. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure nothing beats what Samantha did tonight. It was great. Couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> Yeah, and I think that's about it. Yeah, I'm gonna go and like put my lip ring back in, maybe. I'm gonna shop. So, as always, comment, subscribe, leave me your feedback. I'll talk to you guys later.